There are plenty of proposals floating around the State House claiming solutions to shore up the Transportation Trust Fund. Republican State Senator Jennifer Beck threw her plan into the mix today. It's my belief that we can renew the Transportation Trust Fund for seven years, $1.6 billion a year, with a $700 million, $780 million cushion without raising the gas tax. Increasing the state's gas tax has become the go-to platform for replenishing the nearly depleted fund. With the deadline looming and solutions from legislative leadership conflicting, Beck's proposal lays out an approach similar to one introduced by Governor Christie in 2010. Over that seven years, $11.2 billion in projects will advance, utilizing $5.4 billion in bonds, and $6.56 billion in cash. Beck's plan would dedicate 3.34 percent of state revenue growth, the average over the last six years, to the fund. That generates a total of nearly $34 billion in compounded revenue between fiscal years 2017 and 2023, and nearly $7 billion will be dedicated to PAYGO. It seems that Trenton is in a mad rush to let's just merely replenish the Transportation Trust Fund without stopping for a moment and saying, gee, have we been good stewards of these billions of dollars that have been uh, given to New Jersey state government through the gas tax. The two are launching an online petition against the gas tax. Senator Mike Doherty cited a national study showing New Jersey's maintenance, repairs, and capital projects are the most expensive in the country. We're 12 times the national average. The Republican plan also promises full pension payments by fiscal year 23 and relies on more efficient state government spending. It sets aside about $20 million for discretionary costs. Beck believes will allow for leeway if revenues don't hit their mark. If revenues come in higher than we expect, we also are taking those funds and putting it in sort of a lockbox, I'll call it, so that we have money for a rainy day. Public polls show the majority of New Jersey residents are against raising the gas tax. More than 60 percent say they wouldn't support an increase to fund bridge and road repairs, even if that money was constitutionally dedicated. Given those margins and a general sense of mistrust over government spending, Senator Beck is hoping her plan doesn't become just one more light in this never-ending tunnel. At the State House, I'm Brianna Venozzi, NJTV News.